now this is a story all about how the intermediate value theorem goes down and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there I'll tell you what this theorem is and from where In West Side of Prague, born and raised in the schoolhouse is where he spent most of his days Deriving into grain and doing math like no fool His name was Bolzano and he was super cool A couple of functions that stumped him real good He started spewing math all up in his hood He published his theorem and everyone got scared They said you're a fluke man, you're full of air At first the theorem seemed a little bit great Then he started explaining they said no way He said it works, I swear it'll stick They said tell us how, please real quick f of x from a to b if it's differentiable yeah that's the key since that's true then check this out f prime's continuous there no doubt but wait i hear it's easier than it seems to know that can this theorem mean more for this cool cat i do think so we'll find out soon and i'll share now look who's a fluke who's the one full of air there's only one simple thing you gotta know differentiability implies continuity though i ain't through with this just yet lend me your ear it's proof with the quickness like lightning appeared I whistled for a graph, and when it came near, the curve was cosine x, and to me it's very clear. If anything, I'd say that this theorem is satisfied, so I thought, yeah, let's do it, yo, give it a try. I pulled out the pencil, took a look at the graph. It takes on all the values, yo, this makes me laugh. Followed it from A to B, and it's true. The IVT works, now we're finally through. Will Minor, Trevor Bodden, AP Calculus, O'Leary, 2014, Final Project, Intermediate Value Theorem, or Derivatives. Woo!